Chinese state media confirming a first in the history of space exploration, announcing China's Chang'e 4 mission successfully landed a lunar rover on the far side of the moon. And these are the first two close-up images of the ground the rover sent back. This is the first time any country will explore the far side of the moon on the ground. China's six-wheeled rover faces a long to-do list, like observing whether plants will grow in the low gravity and exploring whether water or other resources lie at the moon's poles. It will also be able to listen more clearly to the sounds of deep space, because here there is no electromagnetic interference from Earth. The far side of the moon is the hemisphere that never faces Earth. It's been mapped extensively, but never visited, mainly because it's not possible to communicate directly to Earth from there. China launched a relay satellite to solve that issue. It's a big step forward for China because historically its space program really lagged behind the U.S. and Russia, but now it's a huge point of national pride. So displays like this one here at the National Museum help inspire a sense of wonder and optimism amongst ordinary Chinese people that when it comes to space, anything is now possible, kind of like the U.S. was back in the 60s and 70s. China has already launched two space stations and by 2022 hopes to launch another, potentially capable of replacing the aging International Space Station. A probe to Mars is set for launch in 2020, and in 2015, CNN got exclusive access to training facilities used by Chinese astronauts, where we saw firsthand how China is planning to send more people into space. And it's because of all that that some people wonder whether it will be China and not the United States that will dominate space exploration in the near future. The U.S. Congress bars NASA from working with China due to national security concerns. And with the Trump administration's plan to create a military space force, the stage is set for competition in both the civilian and military arenas. Trump has also directed NASA to return astronauts to the moon, and they might not be alone. Between China's Chang'e missions and its manned flight programs, many experts predict Beijing is gearing up to send its own astronauts to plant a Chinese flag on the moon as soon as possible. Matt Rivers, CNN, Beijing.